Alright guys, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be going over how to consistently improve on hitting every single double touch you can. A lot of you guys are out there struggling with hitting double touches off them backboards and today we're going to learn how to set them up to yourself and how to make sure you're taking advantage of every setup. Alright, so first you're obviously going to want to copy and paste the code I have in the description to enter the training. Uh, the first hit we're going to have is an off the wall, kind of pretty basic uh, double touch off the wall. Um, you'll be able to see where I hit the ball here. Uh, you want to get some power and boost into the ball on the wall. And then try to follow it up and rotate your car a little bit for extra practice. Uh, this is a pretty basic one. It's kind of like a kickoff if you get the kickoff to you in the corner. Uh, so you guys should be good at that one. Um, if you're not... If you're having trouble with some of these early ones, you may want to go check a little bit of a beginner tutorial on how to double touch because these are a little bit more difficult than usual. Uh, here, I believe this was just for a shot. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a double touch, so I did just shoot this ball. I'm sure you can do a double touch. It just didn't seem um, it just didn't seem right in this situation. But so here on number four, uh, you're going to want to double jump and follow. Uh, off of your double jump you're going to follow that ball off the wall you can tell you double jump at the right time and just follow uh, you don't jump again you don't hit and then jump you double jump and follow it instantly it'll get you there faster and it actually has a really easy way to set it up once you get used to it it is a little bit difficult at first uh, so you got to make sure you you know you you go full out charging the ball and you double jump to get the full power and then you follow it up uh, here it's a pretty basic one it's it's a bouncer in front of you and you set it up to yourself off the back wall uh, this is also another one where you can go single or double jump there um, right here it's a little bit more difficult you have to set it up to yourself off of the sidewall um, which I was able to do there uh, trying to predict this first bounce might take a couple tries but once you get it it is good practice because that is a potential shot in the game where you'll you'll have to attempt that so uh, this is a good one from the side the corner this one's a little bit easier than you know some of the other ones so you guys should be able to do this one uh, rotate your car around get a nice easy double touch right there uh, so let's see here so this one's another simple one uh, it's a double touch I tried to make it a little bit harder by taking it up top and going top left with it uh, because it is just a bouncer in front of you so it's pretty easy to double touch you're gonna want to also double jump on that one uh, here you just got a redirect double touch uh, it's pretty simple I didn't get the best hit there for the second touch but I had a pretty good setup so I was okay with what I did I, sh I mean 99% of the time I'll get a better touch I feel like on the shot I just kind of started falling because I stopped boosting for some reason uh, we got another redirect double touch um, and I nailed that one pretty well uh, on these double touches you just gotta make sure you're boosting into the ball to get full uh, speed on the ball and hit it hard against that backboard uh, right here it's just that first touch is the only problem you're gonna have there if you get the first touch down you're gonna get it you're just gonna lightly touch that over your head against the back wall and it should be an easy follow-up from there uh, now we got a wall pretty easy wall you just jump off last second try to wait as you can see let's look at this when you see I'm coming up the wall, I kind of jump last second, so I make sure I push it out to the middle. Uh, I do get an interesting hit there because it kind of went off the wall. Um, this one's a pretty hard setup, to be honest. Uh, it does come off the wall, so you have to redirect it off the wall to the backboard and then double touch. The double touch part's easy. Getting a good setup is also the hard part on this one. Uh, so here we got another one where you're coming off. I double jumped off the wall for a good setup. and. I mean, you could tell I was pretty much lasered on to that hit uh, because such of a good setup. I mean, you got to make sure you're getting a good setup. That's going to be pretty easy to follow. Uh, that's the easy part. The setup itself is pretty much the hard part on most of these. Uh, we got a very basic one here, so I'm not going to watch the replay as it's, it's just a very basic one. Um, and that'll be all of them for today. Uh, this is my way of becoming consistent and reliable on these double touches where either, rather they are a uh, off the wall aerial to the double touch or if they're a redirect aerial to the double touch 
on the first 15 or so training shots, you guys will have a good understanding of how to double touch consistently, whether it be to redirect, like I said, or an off the wall. So you have to basically set all these up for yourself, which helps you a lot. Make sure you're you know consistent with yourself and getting down every single time. Uh, the way to you know rotate your car around, get the good touches. So just make sure you guys are making it a little bit more difficult on you guys, uh, on yourselves if you're having it too easy here. Make sure you are adding in some rotations uh, and you're making sure you're going fast and putting it in a good spot when you're shooting the ball. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.